And so the four C's that you need to focus on from a strategic point of view are comfort, connection, contribution, and compassion. And once you do focus on these, then you can supercharge your happiness and positivity. What is up YouTube? In this video, we are going to be doing something slightly different as we are going to be focusing on personal development inspired by movie characters and movies and TV shows themselves. And in this video, we are going to be talking about how to achieve happiness and the best route of doing so is through positivity. And we are going to be using the character of Sonic the Hedgehog to be the blueprint in order to achieve this. So happiness is the goal for a lot of people. And like I said, positivity is one of the easiest routes in order to achieve that. However, the challenge comes from the fact that the brain is programmed for survival. So we'll be focusing on the three S's, safety, security, and stability. And on top of that, it's also got a bit of a negativity bias, which means it will always look at things from a negative point of view instead of from a positive point of view. However, the positive spin on all of this is that the brain also has neuroplasticity, which means that you can rewire and rework all of it and refocus it and reroute it towards helping you achieve everything that you want it to achieve. And the best way in order to do this is to focus on the four C's, which is all around comfort, contribution, compassion, and connection, which is really, really great news. As like I said, it means that happiness is actually achievable. So let's focus on the first C, which is all around comfort. So as you will have noticed, I absolutely love breaking things down into simplistic bite-sized pieces. And within that, I think wordplay is really, really important as well. So within the word of comfort, there is F-O-R-T, and I feel like fort just captures comfort really, really well, as you want to create an environment of safety so that your brain doesn't automatically do this. And you can also identify what are the things that really bring you strength. So for example, is it sleep? Is it diet? Is it exercise? Is it having a lot of breaks? Is it having phone free time? And also a really, really important one is of course meditation. Of course that was going to be in this list. So I feel like using your breath is really, really powerful way of just reducing stress, reducing anxiety, and just allowing you to focus. And I just feel like Sonic the Hedgehog does this really, really well, as he has a really good diet, he gets a lot of sleep. You really do see that actually in both of the movie specials. And you do see a lot of exercise being done when he is running all across the world, trying to stop Dr. Robotnik. And I also feel like there is an environment of safety that not only he has created, but also the people around him have created. So people are really happy to express their ideas, to contribute all of their thoughts. And Sonic, of course, is a true risk taker so within comfort I feel like it's also really important to get out of your comfort zone and to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and I just feel like I said Sonic just does this so brilliantly I think Sonic also realizes that change is inevitable as everything is really temporary and transient and everything will pass there was a really famous quote, this too shall pass. And I feel like this applies to both good things and bad things. So don't get too attached as everything will change. I mean, the happiness equation, some people have said, is all around the acceptance of the reality of change. And the suffering equation is the resistance and the avoidance of the reality of change. And like I said, I feel like once you're really acknowledging this and you're really comfortable with this, then you can really allow happiness and positivity to come in and be a lot more like Sonic the Hedgehog. So the next C is all about contribution. So knowing and recognizing the value that you bring and also the value that other people bring as well. So like I said, I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog just does this so brilliantly. As like I said, he knows exactly what he is bringing to the team, but he is the first person to apply Lord and really champion. For example, Tails the Fox, when he does a really, really good job. Knuckles, when he is doing a really, really good job as well. I feel like he's really great in terms of really acknowledging all of the team members. And he has a true sense of purpose for himself and what all of his team members are doing. On this point, I think it's a really important distinction between pleasure and happiness, as actually they're not the same thing. Pleasure is short term and happiness, the aim is to have this to strive towards it being a long term thing. So I'm not saying that pleasure is not important, but it's worth remembering that actually it's going to bring you short term happiness, whereas actually what we're striving towards is long term happiness. And also money is a really interesting thing as well. Don't worry, I'm not going to try to claim that money is not important, as of course it does have its place. But I think what's really important is another distinction as well, which is that money doesn't necessarily equal happiness. Money can bring happiness, but I feel like in its essence, humans are never going to be fully Really happy with the amount of money that they have as there has been a test that's been done recently which states that the money people have people are always wanting 50% more and just feeling like they never have enough so I feel like actually it can be quite dangerous when you attach all of your happiness to money and actually what you should be doing instead is focusing on something that's going to bring you meaning 
as this can bring even more happiness than focusing on money ever can. And we all love word plays in this video, so we're going to be doing another one, which is that within the word contribution, there is the word tribe. So like I said, it's really important to focus on your little community and the people that are around you and to really give each other and yourselves a lot of meaning so that you can all collectively work towards the same thing. So the next C is all around connection. So at the heart of all humans, everybody is a real social creature, really striving for connection, community, and belonging. And I feel like when everybody is working in harmony towards a particular goal, then that is a really successful space and a really successful place as everybody is really able to flow. And each member, when you're having real meaning and purpose, then everybody can be really, really happy together. I feel like it's really easy to feel really disconnected in an overly connected world. So like I said before in the comfort section, it is really important to have phone-free breaks and to have true real-time connections so that you can really build comfort, safety, belonging, and all of the tribe as without community and without belonging, then people are going to be sad. And we love wordplay in this video, as I'm sure you'll remember. And so SAD stands for stress, anger, and disengagement. And going back to an example with Sonic the Hedgehog, in the second Sonic the Hedgehog movie, Sonic was just so good in being able to very quickly, in a very short amount of time, allow both the Tails character and the Knuckles character to feel in a really trusted environment and to feel really, really comfortable. So for example, the Tails character was really expressing the fact that back on his planet, he was feeling really rejected by the other foxes as he had two tails and he was really looking up to the Sonic the Hedgehog character. And very similarly, even though the Knuckles character was a true rival to Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic was doing such a good job in allowing Knuckles to not only feel really safe with a person that he views to be his true enemy and his rival, and similarly was also expressing all of his past history with all of the echidnas and with the owls as well. So I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog is just such a great example of truly being able to create really good connections. And now we're on the final C. So compassion is all around being a hero, which isn't really that easy as it does take a lot of practice, a lot of daily practice, and a lot of empathy, a lot of compassion, and a lot of tolerance as well. And there are two tools that I wanted to introduce in this section. So the first one is the mirror system. So really treat other people in the exact way that you would want to be treated. And the kindness contagious principle, which is if you do some small acts of kindness towards other people, then they are 50% more likely to then do a kind act towards somebody else as well. And if somebody observes somebody being kind and nice to other people, then similarly, they're going to adopt and adapt these traits. And very similarly, like I said as well, are going to be kind to other people. But the thing to be really mindful and careful of is the fact that the reverse is also true. So if people are mean to you, then you're more likely to bully and be mean to other people as well. The very famous quote, hurt people hurt people, just really does summarize this really, really perfectly as we are truly socially conditioned to just follow what we see in our environment and through our observation. And I feel like Sonic and Robotnik are just perfect examples of this as Sonic the Hedgehog really does live by the contagious kindness principle, whereas the Robotnik character just causes so much evil and villainy that this then just builds upon himself and towards the other people that he is around. So in conclusion, happiness is absolutely a choice and positivity is the easiest route in order to achieve that. You just need to know how to use all of the tools in your toolbox. And like I said, Sonic the Hedgehog is the absolute brilliant example as he is able to totally use all of the four C's comfort, contribution, connection, and compassion to really elevate himself into being in a perpetual state of positivity. And as we all know, he is able to truly radiate this as well so effectively. But now I'd love to hear from you. What are your tips? How do you feel like you can use positivity in order to achieve happiness? Is there anything else that you think you can add to this? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.